Hey guys, welcome back to another Road to Rank 1. In the last episode, I did ask you guys if you guys wanted to see more of this content versus my modded map content, and you guys said you, you really appreciate both, so I'm trying to balance it out as much as I can. But we're here with another episode, and the last time we got to top 20, and we're at 1545 MMR. Hopefully we can move up even further on the leaderboard. These matches were recorded right after uh, the last episode, just to make sure I can get two episodes out in quick succession. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into it. There we go. The air dribble bump. Now, before we get into this video, I'd like to quickly announce that the Euro Cup 10K is happening right now on my channel. Come check it out on my Twitch. It'll be the first link in the description. For those of you guys who don't know about this tournament, which I've announced on a few of my other videos, basically what it is is it's $10,000 up for grabs for the best of the best. It's a community tournament sponsored by Psyonix. And basically, this is my first time running a tournament, so I'm going to try my best to uh, make it as professional as possible. Let's get right into the video. All right, as you can see, we're continuing off from the other video of Road to Rank 1, where we uh, played off Expert. And uh, we found him again, right off the game uh, we just won. So we had play out, uh, outplay here. There we go. He didn't expect the early catch. I could tell he was going to turn pretty aggressively from last video. If you didn't check that video out, definitely go check it out. It was pretty good. Um, I won't spoil anything. But obviously, I spoiled the uh, the win against him, but this is part of the storyline. So you have to bear with me. Let's try an aerial thing here. I'm going to get a 50 here. I don't want to do anything too crazy. He missed the boost. Pretty bad. Give, give, give him a gold too. That's so unnecessary for me to shoot that. He's pretty low. He got the boost for me, but should be okay. Oh, I'm going to fake that. There we go. Should be alright. I don't really need to get that boost in mid because he's going to just uh, have the ball possession. Oh, that's smart. I'm going to fake that. I shouldn't have been positioned on the back wall like that. I think uh, the, how far he was away from the, the goal didn't really warrant me having to go on the backboard to defend it. There we go. Force him out for this 50-50. I could probably shoot this. Hopefully I didn't miss. Which I didn't. Nice. Yeah, so that was a pretty smart play. Fake, fake the fake. So I pass the ball and then get a 50-50. And then he's pretty overcommitted because he's got no boost. Even if he grabs that corner boost, I should be okay. I'll hold on to it. There I, there I make sure I get a soft touch first. Loop a little bit wider with the boost I had. And then get a powerful shot. He's trying to figure out my kickoff, but he just can't seem to sort it out. Every single one I'm winning. I'm not even going fast. Like I said in the last video, it's not about that. Almost sniped it. Turn this, turn this in fast, so he has to force it. A little bit panicked. Oh, it's not good. Over him, but probably has enough boost to go for the ball here. Even if he fakes this, he's going to take it in mid. There we go. He's very low again. Take his boost. It's be a nuisance. He's trying to stay relevant on the ball, but it's just not working. That's a bad shot. Boost should come back for me. I missed the boost. Oh, it's so unfortunate. That's so stupid by me. That was a throwaway goal for sure. I was like even timing the boost because I was watching the timer and I just drove around it. That's so annoying. I would have boosted into that ball right away. Unfortunate. That's all it takes too. He saw he saw me miss it, so he went for it. I'm going to take this boost so he doesn't have anything in the corner here. Pretty good save. Hopefully I can demo him on the way. Didn't quite get it. Gonna touch here. Make sure it's over his head so he has to turn wide. There's no boost for him to grab, so it's panicking a little bit. Fake. Pop it across. Keep the boost position. That's a really weak shot. You probably turn it into. Not a great possession by him. Kinda threw it away. There we go. Uh, kinda read his fake a little bit. Throw it away. Fake. It's pretty far away, so I don't have to worry about this. Whoop. Pop it over him. Nice little uh, 
that's like a 2017 flick a little bit. Like you let the ball droop up your car and then at the last second you backflip over him. It's really hard, difficult to deal with. Once again, this, these kickoffs aren't too bad. It's a bit greedy for me to go for this boost, but it's pretty far away. That's a good shot. Looked like he let go of the ball a little bit too much, so I pushed it up. But at the same time, I could have just waited uh, and defended that shot. Because he only has one option is to go to the right side, from my perspective. Oh, I bumped him towards the boost. That's unfortunate. I had the right idea, but I just ended up outplaying myself a little bit. Go for the flippy set. He has it. Hit the fake again. That's a little bit unfortunate. Again, he, in that situation, he has full control when you get that flip reset. We have most of the pressure though. Just gonna make sure we uh, close off the, the goals. Fake the ball. To be right. Damn. Yeah, I should have read that. Could come across though to the, top, the point where you can't score it. Interesting. I'll take it this way. Just walk the dog. Yeah, he, he, uh, I played his cards right there. I think, I think he thought I was never going to actually throw it away early because he hasn't really challenged really with that. So he changed it up. That was just kind of a good gamble. Worked out for us. I don't want to waste all my boosts since he, uh, oh, that's bad. I just gave him the ball. Yeah, I didn't want to use all my boosts, but I ended up spurting a little bit too much out. And I made a bad touch at the end. Hopefully we can keep this up though. Really getting him on that on those kickoffs. He ended up on going too. Hold, holding strong with these kickoffs. Not he's not figuring them out. So I ended up popping his car over me, uh, with the way I I challenged that. Now he's going super fast. It actually works really well for me. Oh what a save! This could be a goal too. Yeah, damn. Once again, a bit of an overcommit. I just keep overcommitting for some reason. I have him on the loops and he has to he has to make the touch to defend instead of uh, me trying to make a shot. I'm up goals, so. It's good defense by him to, to wait on that. Pop it over him, he's pretty low. I'm gonna have to turn around here. See what he does. Pretty low, make him waste the boost. Pop it le left side. He has no no position on the ball there, and he's still trying to uh, scavenge for boost pads. So I have the time to just chip that shot. So now we just need to not throw uh, our one goal lead every time, like we have been. <laughs> so right here, I'm actually just gonna do a thing that we used to do back in the day. Just play out the time. Wasting all of his time right here. There we go. Pretty smart for him to wait there. Pretty aggressively positioned with eight boosts. So what I need to do is avoid the, the the bump play, which is what I didn't do. I went too high. He actually went past the ball to the left side. I should have went underneath instead. It's pretty good though. Hopefully we don't throw this game. I don't think we did. All right, so that was pretty intense down to the last second. I think I, thro I threw away every single one goal lead I had that game, which is insane. <laughs> it's actually kind of insane that I I threw away a goal lead and then brought it back. But hope you guys enjoyed that game. Let's move into the next one. All right, we got Sleppy. He's 1362. Still a pretty good player though. I believe he plays for a college team actually, or a collegiate team. Let's see how this goes. A little bit of space. Pretty smart of him to force out the 50-50. Keep demoing him here. Get the boost. It's okay. Surprised he didn't challenge that. Pop it across. Make sure I save some boost. Okay, that's a bit of a throwaway by him. Make sure I hit this ball to the wall. Should be fast enough for him. Oh, close. That's a pretty smart play though. Got a nice flip reset. So he positions pretty far out. Doesn't really uh, threaten too many things. Uh, midfield. There we go. The air dribble bump. Didn't really 
position well enough to get that that challenge similar to how uh it happened against me an expert a little bit too far out of the play to be fast enough get a free goal there we go so yeah the the famous air drill bump that everyone hates i still think it's very very uh stoppable depending on how your approach is uh well played by your, t your opponent though if they they notice that you're not covering it so i think i have to clear it pretty awkwardly take the boost ah uh, i think my jump actually slowed me down or something i'm not sure, exactly sure what happened because i was holding boost the whole time i'm going supersonic i don't want to watch that back Oh, you know what it is? It's probably because he went down the ramp. It ended up speeding up a little bit. Yeah, probably what it is. I'm not going to waste a boost. I want to stay relevant on this. Doesn't realize I still have lots. It's a pretty weak shot, though. Got the boost from him. He's pretty low, so I'm going to loop this wide. What a save. So pretty far wide on this. Stays with the ball. It's fine. I'll risk it for the boost. It's all right. Stay with this. I don't need the mid boost. It's pretty close to the wall. I don't want to over over risk it. Could have maybe taken that shot, but could have just resulted in in me over committing. So that way I can just wait on his defense there. Be pretty big overcommit. I don't really know where he is. I don't want to use the lack of information as an assumption. So I just. Uh, Make the better judgment to wait on it. There we go. Stay with this ball. There we go. Once again, just trying to get that little chip in mid. It draws them in a little bit, and then I can sometimes outplay them if they, they push forward. It doesn't always work, but uh, I don't always flick it like that, so you got to change it up. Then that boost pad. I might have this, so I'm just going to wait. That's a really good shot. It could be in. Yeah, it's a good shot. The one thing I didn't anticipate was that that full boom. I really shouldn't have rushed it. I was gonna bring it down the floor, but that's a little bit too boring every time. I feel like in a in a professional environment, that's what I would do. He was gonna go for the bomb. He seems to do that a lot, so I want full boost. Doesn't seem to want to pressure me here. Pop it top corner. Didn't quite make it. A bit awkward for him. Try to get the boost here. Get the boost from him. Oh, he bumped me off a little bit. Should be alright though. Still hold possession. It's pretty smart by him, but it's too far out. Get a little chip. Let's see what I shoot it. So he plays a little bit differently than the last few players we've been playing. So I'm I'm getting like a bit of an adjustment period playing him. He gives me a lot of space, uh, which is not what I'm quite used to. There we go. I missed. I was so over aggressive. <laughs> oh, he has no boost though. It's gonna be a goal still. Yeah, I really not have to panic on that. Uh, even if he did get back, like I'm up three goals. Don't need to force a goal or anything pretty aggressive and dumb by me I have the advantage just play to it all right forcing him on the ball if he wants to stay on the ball he has very low, low boost I'm gonna bait him in for the boost there we go he's got zero to be high enough oh there it is he's so low that he can't even rechallenge that so it doesn't even matter that I hit crossbar I just do a quick change up left and right, so that way his car is faced the other way, and he's basically zero boost. Probably should have just scored it under the crossbar in the first place, but it is what it is. I'm gonna change it up again. There we go. Nice quick little goal again. So this guy is 1362. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but so he's a little bit lower. Probably only get like two or three points from this game. But being this high, you only have like five play oops, you only have like five players in your region that uh that are at your rank <laughs> so it's kind of hard to find games at this level i think the most common is like 1400 so he'll get the ball before me so i'm not really worried about that i'm just gonna go for the boost instead kind of throws away with that touch so he does with the flick 
Oh, the I got the spin out. Unfortunate. So it's okay though. We got 55 seconds left. And we're up 7-4. Should be alright for the last minute here. Just gonna close up the game. I should have just side flipped there. I don't know why I didn't. Probably side flip to the right. That way it forces a little more to the sidewall. There we go. Just keep the ball away. I can basically just play keep away at this point. See if he wants to go. There we go. Just force him out. Take his boost. Make him rush. And now he has no boost. Chip it around. Take it over here. I don't really care that he gets the goal, uh, the bump on me because uh, we've wasted so much time in the game that that's pretty valuable. So he does. Just wasting time here. This is open right here, but I don't really want to score anymore. Oh, we'll do that though. There we go. Finish it off. Not too bad for the second game. Let's get into the third one. We actually got four points. That's a pretty good uh, with 14 shots on goal. So. 50% shooting accuracy, not too bad. Sometimes I, I, I position shots just to be more difficult to save. Uh, just so I get a better possession in the future. Just sort of dwindle them down. Let's get a last match. We right, got last game of the video. We got another 1300 player. We got Aeris, Season 13 and Grand Champion. I think most players at this level, at the highest level of, uh, of ones, are pretty good players in other things like 2v2. Um, at least in NA I find right now that they actually like seem to be adapting a little bit better. So we'll see if this guy... I've never heard of this guy in 1v1, 1v1 before. I'm not even sure if I've seen him in 2s. Let's see if I can get a... Pop it over him. Whoop. Oh, I was so stupid. I don't know why I waited so long. I could have just scored that. Just trip him up a little bit. There we go. Go for the demo with me. That's fine. Just back off. Always make sure you loop, loop wide on those. Alright, that's a giveaway. Not sure why he challenged that again. To be open, I missed. So, that's cool. Missed two open nets so far. Pretty aggressive by me too. Could be a goal. It's a pretty bad throw away by him. Seems to be a very common situation in this game. There we go, just pop it over at the last second. So we missed two open goals, we don't talk about it, we just move on. It's fine, it happens. We uh, we grow and we, we learn. I'm gonna go for this boost here, see if I can get the positioning on it. So this chip isn't okay, isn't a problem if he goes for it. Everyone seems to do this now, in ones. It's a good 50 down, down below. I could have just waited, honestly. It didn't look like he was gonna have the flip reset. I'm not sure why I jumped in the way. Would have had a free possession and a free open goal by him uh, overcoming like that. Probably thought I was going for the mid boost. Struck him a little bit, uh, a little bit surprised by that. I saw that I had enough boost to make a shot if he was stuck in midfield, which he was, and then we end up getting the free goal. That's a really bad kick up by me. It's a good shot too. So really bad kickoff. I ended up pushing a little bit too far onto the ball uh, and went too low on it. So it popped over my head. I was just talking about if I, if I don't focus on it, they can go pretty poorly. Pop it nice and high. It's all right. He's way out of the play. All right, we get a free goal. We just popped it over our head. He went for the corner boost. Cause I guess he thought it was maybe, I was maybe going to bring it into the corner, but the open net is there for me when I have like 30 boosts like that. So, we'll take it. Alright, let's see. What's he got? Pop it up nice and high. Go for it early. Nice save. Try to land nicely so I can get out with the recovery. If I just like autopiloted there, I would have been in trouble. It's a good touch. That's how you want to do it when you do the air drill bump is you want to bring it away from the player and make sure you're on the other side of the ball. Um, it's a good good startup for him. It's all right. Kind of messed up his wave dash. Should be able to make it back for that though. Take his quarter boost. It's pretty low so this ball is kind of awkward for him. It's pretty low. I'll take the corner boost again. All 
Alright, that's fine. Just keep taking the boosts. We might start collecting some more pads though, so we gotta be a little bit careful with that. There we go, just make him waste his position. It's not good, I don't know why I did that. It's pretty bad overcommit. Should be alright. He's gonna have the confidence to go because he got that whole 100 boost, which I can tell, so I'm just gonna wait for it instead. Take his boost. He did the mid boost, which is okay. But I'll, I'll just fake this so we don't get in the way of the demo. I'll try we didn't kill him there. Actually wasted a lot more boost than I expected. Swapping me as well. Pretty aggressive player. Force him into the goal. That way he can get the possession. He's going to shoot it. It's not on target, I don't think. Oh, it is. That's pretty bad by me. Just left that opening. Not really used to this guy. He's very... Uh, very strange. I'm not exactly sure how to describe it, but he's doing the opposite of what I expect. There we go. To the right. He's very bumpy. That's what I think. Probably just shoot this. Probably doesn't expect it. Yeah, it's an opening there. Um, very bumpy. I think he's just very aggressive and very contact in 1v1, which uh, you don't actually see too much uh, in midfield like that against high level players because they respect that uh, there could be an immediate shot. Same with this guy, he just goes like that. That's what I'm talking about, just gotta get used to that. I think that boost spawned for him, so. Yep, very contacted, he just comes right in your face, so you gotta be a little bit careful of that. There we go. He does a lot of fake challenges like that and just tries to pop the ball right away. Could get a goal here too. I think he missed. He did. Could have been really dangerous for us. To be over him. Oh, just awkward enough. He's actually probably the, the hardest guy I've played today just because I'm not used to what he's doing. I mean, we have 13 shots on him and he has three on me, so just got to hold the pressure. Go immediately after this. Even if he goes, it's fine. I just got a few pads. He's going very slow. Could have gotten my boost there. Or did something else. Pop it above the net. Make him have to go. Got 20 seconds left. To it right. Gotta go immediately. I haven't really done that the whole game. So be alright. Just trying to stall the time. There we go. Just pop it. That should be game. There we go. Just stall at the last few seconds. And uh, we take the final win. So we're, uh, where are we at now? We're at 15.57 around there. Uh, depending on the decimal points as always. But let's check the leaderboard and see where we're at. So it didn't quite update yet, but we're in the same position anyway. So we went from position 20 to position 16. Not too bad of a gain since uh, we're at a little bit a ways away from the top 10. Uh, about 20 points. So hopefully in the next video we can get 20 points or so and get into the top 10. That'd be great. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.